the four sides of communication or the communication square. First, let's think about a very simple statement. True is not what A said, but rather what B understands. If we look what's behind that statement, let's use a very handy model by the German communication psychologist Schulz von Thun. How could we analyze the statement? According to most models of communication, there is a sender and a receiver and a message that comes across between the both of them. Same goes for Schulz von Thun's model. His idea is that there are different layers, facets or channels on which that message comes across. First, there's the layer of factual information. What is in the message as such? Data, facts and so on. Second, there's the layer of self-revelation. What did the sender tell about him or herself? And on the other hand, what did the receiver hear about the sender telling? Third, there's the layer of appeal. What does the sender want the receiver to do or not to do? And on the side of the receiver, what did the receiver hear the sender wants him or her to do? And fourth, there's the layer of relationship. What does the sender tell about the relationship between him or her and the receiver? And on the other hand, what did the receiver hear? As you may suspect, the receiver could hear very different things from what the sender is actually telling. We got you hooked up on this and you want to know more, please go to our website.